Wow, would you just look at that? Tell me that is an absolutely awesome. Don't forget to like and comment. I respond to every single comment. Also, stay tuned to the end. We're going to discuss what we're doing on next week's episode. Hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for joining me. Chris? <laughs> David? I'm not jumping around. <laughs> You're watching Whiskey Dance. You're late again. I'm late. Today, we're going to pull the, uh, the bed off of this hog right here. So, yeah. well, stay tuned. Yeah, it is really windy, so most of it's going to be in time lapse, but uh, yeah. at least you get to see what we're doing. We'll try to make it funny, break something anyway. See what we can do. Yeah. Forgot to tell you, this is David from Classic Car Revivals. If you haven't checked his channel out, what are you waiting for? So, <laughs> let's do it. All right, so this should be fairly easy. Pretty much just have to knock a few pins out, and then uh, we're going to pull it off with a winch. Let's see if we can't uh, completely destroy something. So My let's trailer. Go. Trailer, yeah. So, oh wow. Just about got it free. We just got to knock that pin out right there. It's a good thing this guy's here. We? What's this we stuff? Yeah, that's why I meant it's a good thing this guy's here. I think I already threw him out. All you did was hold the camera. Pretty much. Call me Helena. She's better looking than you are. Well, I would hope so. We're brothers. At least it's not windy under here. Yeah, I'm telling you, as soon as we get done, the wind will stop. Yeah. I hope so because it'll go. that poor old Ford was working on the way here. Well, this pin's definitely gonna come out. It's spinning. Oh yeah. I think uh, the Andersons took really good care of this while it was on the farm. And just so everybody knows, they washed it in 2012 or whatever before it was parked. And they said they washed them quite regularly, so. It wasn't washed in the 1900s or anything like, like <laughs> I had thought, so. John let me know that uh, I was wrong, so. Well, I bet washing it before he parked it really saved this rig. Yeah, I'm sure that's part of the reason why it's so clean. And uh, still no word on uh, random stuff from Jeff, I believe is randomness with Jeff, I believe is what he's calling his channel now. Thought he was gonna be here yesterday, and then I thought he was gonna be here today. Oh, does he have a long channel now? Yeah, he's just gonna focus on doing funny shorts. So, wow. the funny thing is in his shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell him that. <laughs> Yeah, funny. I might switch pins and try to get the inside one out. Yeah, do what you gotta do. Well, that counter key's twisted. Um, why don't I just grab the cutoff wheel and we'll. Well, you do what you want. I just, just cut the end off and then tap it through. Yeah, go ahead. Now, for you guys that uh, didn't know, David is actually doing a 75. C6500 that he turned into a pickup. He's gonna put the finishing touches on it this spring when it uh, warms up. No, I actually have to have it done by Friday because I'm putting it in a truck show. <laughs> oh, okay. So, well, what are you doing here? Because <laughs> well, it's Saturday, I still got a week. Yeah, plenty of time. <laughs> I got the fenders all welded and the box welded up. I just gotta do some body work and hit it with the old, you know, turbo can white. We can do the whole thing, so. There you go. 
He's also doing a C50. Yeah, that's a 50. So that one is Big Bad John, and the other one's Big Jim. I'll uh, I'll put some pictures of them. Uh, Both songs. Yeah. Jim Croce and Jimmy Dean. Good tunes. So, anyways, we got those pins out, or I should say he did. So now we're gonna see if we can drag this up on the uh, trailer without wrecking too much stuff. I got a super single. We're gonna try to slide it on. So, anyways, let's go. Actually, I got a new hay feeder. There you go. Yeah, and there's corn falling out of this side. Oh, maybe all the corn already fell out. Crack place. corn. <laughs> what do you think? You want me to pick it up and uh, get the tire under there a little better? You can't pick that up. I'll jack it up again. I don't know, I'm just worried when it comes crashing down, so maybe we should get another tire under the back side. Okay. Hey, yeah. anybody need a gigantic cylinder? Yeah. Drop axle? Cylinder. Sure you don't want to take this stuff home with you? Nope. Got no use for it. So maybe you should trade me that... Uh, those two monster pickups for this one when I'm done. Yeah, that sounds like a good deal. <laughs> Maybe this master cylinder is shot too, that's why it doesn't work. Probably. I wonder if that's why they tried to replace the one up there. Which it doesn't. But this that seat, doesn't make sense. That's just back brakes. I wonder if that's for the pusher or what? No, it shouldn't be. And then there's a break, a tank right there for air. Yeah, that is the, maybe that is the pusher. Oh yeah, that's probably the pusher just, this must just loop into that air cylinder and when it hits air, it pushes that back brake. Okay. Well, this way, look at that. Oh, There's yeah. up and down. Okay. Could've raised it. It's probably, that's a nice unit. That's what she said. <laughs> Yeah. That would be great. Dump bed trailer material. All you need is electric over hydraulic pump and put yourself a tip bed. All right. Okay. Well, yeah. we'll be back. Here comes the boom or what? This we got evidence for how uh, one of us got killed. Here it goes. wasn't bad at all. But, uh, that tire worked absolutely perfectly. They're both sliding on there real nice. How far do you want to go? Right to there, I guess. Beautiful. Right to where my battery ran out. Perfect. No, nope, we'll get some straps on it. Boy, does that look different. Yeah. Looks like uh, maybe 10 bolts. I can peel that top off. Oh, well. I should just sell that whole unit. If I were you, I'd cut it right here, the frame. Yeah. Then they got the hinge point. All right, no, that's not even the hinge point. The hinge point's right here. But they got all this stuff welded here. Right. Yeah. And I got stuff welded to the frame. We'll figure it out. That's a big stack of springs. Yeah. Plan is I'm gonna probably take some of those springs out when I move everything forward and then I'm gonna try to axle flip the front. So you should actually pull the springs out of that truck. 
Just use those? In the hangers. Yeah. Because you got to think your, your front spring is going to be right here now. Yeah, I think. So. Pretty close. Maybe we'll try ride to get this a little frame bit. off so we can set the box on there. <laughs> yeah. If you're feeling tough. Yeah, I'd love to do that. Three quarters. You got three quarter socket for an impact? Uh, not an impact, but they're all impact sockets. Yeah. We have one little part in your face. All right, well, we're gonna try to pull this off. Just a little update. We got her sitting on there. It's not even close. We're gonna lop this axle off real quick and uh, set it down over the axle and see what it looks like. Getting there. She might be ready to roll back. She's got one more little cut. Brake line? No, there's another. <laughs> another hang up there. Oh, that's right. You can cut that because this thing's dead. Perfect. Well, we might as well take a little peek at it. Obviously, we still need to move the axle up, but uh, see what I'm getting at here, right? Eh? <laughs> I love it. So we're going to jump on working on this bumper for a little while. I'm going to cut some of that center out and put the new piece in. Maybe do a little more welding. Get it cleaned up. So let's take her into the garage. All right. There's our new bumper insert. I'm not going to put it right there. I'm going to move it all the way up to the top, I think. But uh, I think it looks awesome. I need to clean it up just a little bit, but uh, Daryl did a great job. Absolutely love it. So let's get this other stuff cut out and then we'll uh, put that where it needs to be. Let's go. Obviously, I got some gaps to fill and whatever else, but uh, there it is. Uh, let's go throw it on the truck and see what it looks like real quick. All right, ready? Pow! So I told you guys on previous episodes that I plan that I'm going to put steel behind it and then backlight it in white. I'll be doing that with the rear bumper as well. But I think it looks pretty good. Eh? I mean, it still needs some work. Got a ton of welding to do. I think I am going to paint it uh, Wimbledon white. Kind of stick with the theme. I don't know what color I'm doing wheels yet. Box, obviously, I'm going to try to match. I don't know. Then I'm going to have uh, some exhaust coming out of the side, I think. Something gigantic. I think maybe I might leave the steps. 
I don't know yet. I'm really going to have to see it, uh, you know, frame sucked in or whatever, everything like where it needs to be. And then I'll decide if, uh, if I'm leaving the steps. I got some more of these, uh, whatever these are. They're basically steel mud flaps, fender extensions. I thought maybe take the step off, but leave that. And then I put one on the rear as well, but then modify it so it came over and cover the rear dual as well. You know, this whole area. I don't know. We'll figure it out. All in all, I'm pretty happy with the progress. All this stuff is coming out this weekend, I hope. Uh, I got to drive truck um, tomorrow night, most of Friday. And then uh, I think Saturday I'm going to go hang out with my son because uh, his 18th birthday is coming up real quick. So what do you guys think? Lomax. Since we're standing here, this is the bumper that I'm going to modify. I'll probably just add an eight inches or whatever, maybe 10 inches to that. Drop it down. I'm not going to get too fancy. I am going to put a low max just above where the, the balls are. <laughs> so that should look good. And then, uh, so don't tell anybody, but uh, the plan is for the tailgate that what I want to do is basically cut a huge hole in the middle, okay? And fill it all in so it looks nice. And I'm going to put plexiglass, maybe tinted plexiglass. And then the Ford emblem will look like it's floating. Because I'm kind of thinking if you're trying to back up or whatever else with how high this back end is going to be, it's going to be kind of difficult to see. So wouldn't it be nice to have like a little peephole in your tailgate, you know? Why not? See what you hit right before you pull away. Uh, a little hit and run. <laughs> what do you guys think? All right. That's going to do it for this week's episode. Of course, it's getting windy. But uh, So this is Lomax, if you haven't uh, noticed. She's coming together really fast, and I think it looks great. So got the bumper uh, mocked up. Obviously, we still need to finish welding and yeah, whatever else. Maybe throw a little mud in there, cut some lights in there. This, that, and the other thing. All in all, I think it was a pretty productive week. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Please. Anyways, if you guys could please check out all my other friends, I'll leave links in the descriptions. I would really appreciate it. You guys have a great week. Y'all come back now. You here? Yeah, buddy. Oh, you guys are still here. Tell me what you think I should do with this bumper. Do you think I should just add 8 inches, 10 inches to the top and run with it like that? Or just uh, smooth it out completely and maybe put like a hidden receiver, you know, somewhere in there? I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. I'm thinking that uh, I'm going to find some marker lights. Some square ones. I found some that are 3 quarter inches wide by 3 inches. Maybe shove them in there. And then uh, I'll do the same thing in the rear. Something a little bit, uh, just a little bit different. I'm also going to get some uh, nice cab lights. And I'm hoping next week to tint the windows. I don't know. Nothing too crazy. But uh, all in all, it's going good. I'm loving it. I can't wait to unbolt this rear end and slide it forward so we can close this gap. And then we'll start uh, welding these sides on. I got a couple of holes I need to fix back here. You know, we can talk about budget. I paid a thousand bucks for the machine and then 300 for this box. I got like 400 in defenders. You know, that's not counting fuel or anything else. And then I sold the RAM out of the, the old, uh, well, from the lifter or whatever, from the box. So that was 200 bucks. So we're really not in this thing very much. I, don't, I mean, I don't even think it's two grand yet. 
Well, maybe. Maybe. It's close. But uh, anyways, I'm also uh, chomping at the bit to get back after this. I don't want to leave it in here and let it uh, collect dust. So I think real soon here I'm going to have a, a little catch-up video where I just work on it. I'm not really going to record it, but I'll have the doors hopefully welded together and maybe have, you know, some hinges in it. I'd like to be able to open one. Then I can use that as a reference for the other side. You know, basically like I did the rest of it, so... Then we can get stuff bolted down and, you know, drive shafts and all kinds of stuff uh, slapped together. So, anyways, you guys, I really do appreciate you, and I will see you real soon. Bye. So, if you guys didn't know, I bought uh, another 66 dump truck this time. Uh, it's an F500, maybe, I think. So, seeing uh, Clifford's laid out you know stretch diesel you know his uh his green machine i decided that uh that's what i want to do so anyways stay tuned for that i guess uh once we finish that old girl we'll uh get after that but it's darn wind you guys aren't gonna want to miss next week's episode I'm going to unbolt this rear end, disconnect the drive shaft. All the PTO stuff will be gone. I'm going to move it all forward. Put the box where it needs to be. I got to get my drive shaft shortened. I think I might move this hanger bearing up and then just shorten the front drive shaft. Does that make sense? It seems like it might be a little bit easier. It's also going in the garage because supposedly we're gonna get a bunch of snow and whatever else and uh, well, I don't wanna deal with it. So we'll push it in the garage, push the crew cab over. And uh, what else? Oh, I gotta swap that transmission. I think it's a T18 or T19. That one's a Clark 5-speed. The one I'm putting on it doesn't have a parking brake like that one does. I need to eliminate uh, that brake assist. And then there's a whole other master cylinder with a booster here. A bunch of this stuff is all going bye-bye. Make it look like a pickup. Unfortunately, it'll be in the garage. We won't be able to get uh, a great look at it, but uh, you get the gist of it. I think sometime this week, too, I'm going to fix this window because it keeps coming down. And I'd also like to tint the side windows, wings, and then the back glass. Just for something to do. So let me know if there's anything you guys want to see done. I know soon we're going to jump back on the crew cab because I would really like to get uh, those rear doors done and, you know, just make a little more progress. I just don't want it to be thrown on the back burner, kind of like this one, you know. It's a 66 on a 98 Mercury Mountaineer, all-wheel drive. The old school 5.0 like the Mustangs had. So, this thing's really gonna be fun. I'm gonna need another box. I'm gonna have to shorten it, but uh, I spent a lot of time on this. I smoothed out all, like uh, drip rails gone. I don't know. Taking all these lines out of here, I still need to do the back of that. This one's really gonna be sharp. This is gonna be probably my daily when I'm done with it. So. Anyways, see you guys next week. Oh, and Uncle Alan, what's up, buddy? Stop calling me Whiskey Dinks or Dink or whatever. I know what you're implying, you dirty old man. <laughs>